Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> Let's talk about tech. I read a post on Free Code Camp about an individual who said he was going to quit code because he was too old. And when I looked into it, it really made me sad because of the reasons why he believed that he was too old to quit. And before I get into it, I just want to say that there are a lot of elements to this post and maybe there's a lot of information that this person isn't sharing. But overall, I just want to give you a read and we'll dive deep into it and figure out what could be the problem and why I believe that it's not necessarily age. That could be a detriment to your software developer journey, but it's the circumstances. I've talked about this in my previous videos, but reading this post again just brought up those kind of memories and I want to reiterate how you can get ahead despite the circumstances you may be in. So let's get into it. Before we start, I want to say this video is sponsored by me. If you're looking to build a web developer portfolio and you don't know how to start, I highly recommend you to look into my practical portfolio course. Right now, it's $19.99 until the end of this year, and it's going to go up to $24.99. So 20% off right now. I really believe that this course is going to be super helpful for you to jumpstart your career into software development. More often than not, we find ourselves in tutorial hell, unable to really just start on a project. But with something like this, I want to get you ahead of the curve compared to other developers that are trying to get their first job. So if you find yourself stuck and unsure of how to start a portfolio, check out my course and I can assure you that we've got plenty of good reviews from the community and by the end of this project, you'll have a central hub to showcase your projects, but more importantly, tell the world that you are a software developer. And now let's get into the video. So the post starts off with saying too old to get hired, so decided to quit the lessons. I want to thank everyone for all the great posts on this forum. I enjoyed working through the lessons, but decided to quit since I'm 55 years old and was told by a few folks on another job slash coding forum that I wouldn't have a chance in the job market due to my age and that nobody would hire you at my age. I wasn't trying to get into C++ or anything like that, just purely web development, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, etc. Anyways, it was a very sad day when I decided to stop the training as I really enjoyed it. I was trying really hard to get away from my customer service background. Even though I have 10 to 12 hours a day available for learning, I just didn't want to put that amount of time into something that would never amount to anything. This community is great and I'm going to miss everyone. This post makes me really sad because an individual is giving up on their dream and goal to be a software developer based on potentially just a few opinions and that's all they are opinions but if you dive into this a little bit deeper you can see that maybe right now this person is kind of in a dark space unsure if being a software developer is right for them this happens to a lot of us because when we decide to go into the software developer journey we don't realize how hard it actually is and i can assure you as someone that did a career switch into software development no matter what age you are, this is going to be very, very tough. Ultimately, what is really important is that you go in there with the commitment to learn, commitment to get better, and hopefully that one company will give you a chance to land that first developer job. But when I read something like this, it's just so disheartening to me that saying that I am 55 years old, so I cannot land the first job. Being older is not necessarily a detriment. Yes, you may not work as fast as a 20 or 25 year old developer, possibly, but you also have to consider that experience also comes with age. And as someone that's been in the customer service industry, you probably have interacted with so many different types of people. And specific for this person who was in the customer service industry, I'm sure they have worked with so many different kinds of people because working with people is literally part of the job of being a software developer. I don't necessarily want to downplay the aspect of ageism because yes, regardless of what industry you are in, ageism does exist, but you need to use your age as an advantage. And that's where I believe experience with working with different types of colleagues is going to help you shine. Another thing I want to mention is that I've worked with a lot of different clients and what I see is a pattern of when I'm unable to achieve a goal, I start coming up with reasons and excuses of why I'm not achieving them. And when you start thinking like that, you start coming up with really, really dark reasons of why you can't accomplish it. Oh, I am too old or I am too young. No one will respect me. I'm not getting promoted because of my language barrier. You start coming up with all of the reasons why you can't do it 
but I can assure you that something like this really just takes a lot of time. There are just so many elements to this and I try to compare with the real world and anything that you do, it's just going to take time. And when I see a post like this, I actually get kind of excited for this person because number one, they don't want to go for that home run first job, becoming a full stack developer and all of that. They just want to work in that HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And I can assure you there are plenty of jobs like that, specifically HTML email developer, the CSS and HTML landing page developer. You don't really need to know the whole breadth of JavaScript full stack back end to land a role like that. Another thing that really stood out to me about this individual is that he has 10 to 12 hours a day to study. A lot of people will consider that a blessing because look, we all have our personal lives. We have our commitments to our significant other, our kids, our family, or just any commitments that might come along your way. You have to do it. And that is time away from learning how to code, becoming a better software developer, landing that first job. But if this person has 10 to 12 hours to really just study and buckle down, I would ignore all the noise. I wouldn't even care about what people say to me. I'm committing 10 to 12 hours a day. That's half a day to really, really get better at this. And even if you do go at a slower pace than other people, you have the benefit of time. So I highly encourage whoever this person is to just forget about those negative thoughts and just keep pushing forward. Ultimately, regardless of ageism and the barriers that might come along your way, what is undeniable is if you have the skills, they will hire you. And let me repeat that again. If you have the technical skills, they will hire you. So keep on working. I really want to just encourage this person that is feeling down and wants to give up that you have such an abundance of time to do this. And it sounds cliche to say this, but it's not a race. It's a marathon. And for the rest of you developers, I know for a fact, even myself, I've went through something like this where I've come up with reasons why I couldn't be a software developer, but keep persisting, keep working and just be happy about the small wins that you're getting. Just because you didn't hit that home run doesn't mean that you're not progressing forward. It's all about the little wins that you made along the way to eventually become that software developer, get that next raise, become that mid-level developer, become that senior level developer. And, and at the end of your software developer journey, you're gonna look back and see, wow, I can't believe I committed this many hours to becoming a software developer, but it was a really, really fun ride. For all of you developers, I know the struggle's there. It's the end of 2021, but I highly encourage you to keep moving forward and keep building because your time will come. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.